Hello everyone, it's Alex Oro again, and I'm excited to join you today to take a closer look at the latest update of Scene Manager version 2.3 and explore all the amazing new features it has to offer. That being said, let's roll with the video. First up, we have Live Mode. With Live Mode enabled, Scene Manager will automatically add a new setup if a camera is created and apply Scene Manager settings instantly when changing the active camera or viewport. This allows us for a faster and non-destructive workflow, making it easier to experiment with different setups. Next, we have the new lights module. This will allow you to control the intensity, size, position, and many other properties of any V-Ray, Corona, and F-Storm lights. In previous versions, you had to organize and control your lights with layer or object modules using visibility properties. But now, the lights have their own dedicated place making things much more organized and easy. Another exciting feature is the new thumbnail module. With this module, you'll be able to save a preview of the viewport or virtual frame buffer per camera and use it as a thumbnail for your scene manager settings. This will help you visualize and review your setups without having to start the render, making it easier to make decisions about your scene setups. We have also made some significant improvements to the post-production and virtual frame buffer module. In previous versions, users gave us feedback that this module could be difficult to use, so we invested a significant amount of time into making it more user-friendly and straightforward. From now on, you will find all virtual frame buffer, light mix and color correction settings in the post-production and virtual frame buffer module. For those of you who are using the V-Ray and Corona procedural clouds, we have added the latest controls for both so you can easily try out and save multiple versions of your skies. Finally, we have made some improvements to the asset collection for Helio Cloud. We have added better plugin detection, enhanced plugin comparison capabilities, and we have also fixed some of the issues with uh, handling Typeflow and Phoenix cache files, as well as anime scenes. We have also improved the asset collection process from XF files. And that's it. This was the overview of the latest update for Scene Manager version 2.3. We hope you are as excited about the new features as we are. And please, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.